How could this happen at your university? Well, it seems almost impossible to me. It was, I, I was outraged the minute I heard about it. I, I was saddened by it the more I think about it. And uh, that's why we've decided to take immediate action. Uh, within just minutes of learning of this video and determining that some of our students were involved, we've kicked the fraternity off the campus. They're packing up their bags. They have to be out of the house within 24 hours. And uh, we're just not going to tolerate it. We have a zero tolerance policy. And I think that that is of racism. That's not who Sooners are. Real Sooners are not racists and bigots. Real Sooners are people who respect each other and who care about each other. And we're not going to put up with this. Uh, I think you have to send the strongest possible message. So you impact not only the entire culture on this campus, but on campuses across the country. And indeed, for the rest of us, we all of us across America have to start having zero tolerance. We can't sit still when we hear racist jokes or remarks being made, even in social settings. We need to stand up and speak out because I think that's why we're having all of this problem across the country, and that's what we're trying to do here. What about the students uh, who were seen in that video, the members of that fraternity? What's going to happen to them? Well, we are investigating the individual members as we can determine who they are now. We're making progress in that investigation. And then we're examining our rights under the Civil Rights Act of 1964 to see if we can take other actions, uh, suspensions, uh, expulsions uh, for their students. And we had already begun several weeks ago uh, studies of, ironically, studies of uh, all of our different organizations on campus to make sure that they were being sensitive and were being inclusive. And we've been in the process of making, I think, some positive change. But our students themselves, I'm really proud of them because as you've seen, the students of the University of Oklahoma without regard to race have said, this is not us. This is contrary to all of our beliefs. They've stood up, they have demonstrated. I was out there with them this morning in the early dawn hours. I'm very proud of them. I'm proud of the person who brought that video to light. And I've told them if you have any other kind of information about anything going on on this campus that's not inclusive, let me know. We'll take action, and we've demonstrated that today. Why not simply expel those students? Well, we have to be very careful under federal law and under the Constitution uh, in terms of what we do. We have to prove that they created, have created a hostile environment uh, for other students in their education. And so we're, gonna, we're certainly going to do that. We have suspended students here before for uh, racial activities. It's been many years, and in fact, I thought we were long behind that because we've worked so hard to create a, a family environment here that it would be a, really a, a model for the rest of the country. So when something like this happens, I think, again, to change the culture and to make the point, uh, very quick action, and I, we just can't, we can't have any tolerance whatsoever, zero tolerance. And I think we have to have that for all of American higher education and for all of the country. We, we, hear, we hear your stories on, on uh, following all your stories on Ferguson and hear the story from Wisconsin today. Here, it keeps going on across the country. Uh, uh, issues with the police, other kinds of issues. And I, I think we just have to start, all of us, wherever we live, whatever we do, we have to say we have a zero tolerance. It's, a policy as individuals. It's too. shocking to me, and I'm sure to almost everyone else, 50 years after Selma, and we just had commemorative ceremonies oh. over the weekend at Selma, this, this kind of chant could still be going on. How confident are, confident are you, Senator? This is just a tiny, isolated incident, because we heard some of the minority students at your university well, say they believe this has been going on for a long time, but it simply hasn't been caught on videotape. Well, I don't think it's an isolated incident. I don't think it's an isolated incident in, in the country. And I think it's far more widespread, and it's subtle. But that's what shocks me about this, is this is almost a return to the 1960s, the kind of exclusionary attitude that I thought we had already dealt with in this country. And uh, certainly it's been our intent to deal with it here. And I think we now have to engage in looking at other kinds of subtle forms of discrimination as well. And I've certainly invited uh, our students. We've been working very closely since uh, early this fall uh, to, to make some changes and make sure that all the committees of our major organizations, whether it's homecoming, whether it's the concert series, uh, whether it's the orientation 
uh, program for our students, uh, let alone the Greek system. We're trying to make sure that they all are inclusive, that they all have minority representation and, and points of view that need to be heard. And uh, we're making progress. But this was, it, it, to me, it's, it, I'm like you. I was, it's unbelievable to me that yeah. in this day and age, we could have anyone, and especially at our campus, where our students overall, including our Afro-American students, who are, have been very, I think, uh, helpful in this regard, and uh, I just can't imagine it happening. But we're not going to put up with it. That's the message we're trying to send. We're well, not going to put up with good it. Good luck to you and everybody at the university there.